So I have already created my fill layer with the black color. I am on Pixel Studio, but this can also work on layout and vector. And now let's select the artistic text tool, left click here, and then left click on artistic text tool, left click and now type your text. Control A to select all text. I'm going to change the size to 600, press enter. And then I'm going to change the font here to Anton. And now I'm going to change the color to white. And now let's select the move tool and now I'm going to center it so I'm going to reduce the size here so let's select the artistic text tool double click so let's change it to 500 press enter now let's select the move tool and now I'm going to center it and now we need to modify the text tracking here so left click here on the A letter here the character left click and now I'm going to change this value here tracking so I'm going to reduce it to minus 80 percent so I'm going to double click so now I'm going to change it here to minus 80, press enter. So I think I will make it to minus 60, press enter. So I'm going to lift here and now click on the X here to close the window, the character window. And now I am on the move tool and now I'm just going to center it. And now I'm going to convert this text into curves. So make sure on the move tool, right click on the text and then select convert to curves. So this will change this text layer into a group with all the letters as curves so convert to curves so here it is now we have a group layer and now if you left click on the arrow here you'll find your letters they have been changed into curves so now I'm going to select the first one here the W I'm going to scroll down hold the shift key and then left click on the S curve here this one here the S letter so now it selected all the letters here so now left click on the FX here, layer effects. We're going to add linear gradient. I'm going to move the layer effects window to the right like this. So select the gradient overlay, left click here, and then check the gradient overlay. So the type is linear. The blend mode is normal. The opacity is 100% and now left click here. So I'm going to left click here and then left click on the color and then select the white color. And then I'm going to left click on this point and then left click on the color and this one I'm going to change it to black and now here I can adjust for example the transition between the two colors so if you want to add another color just left click on the line here so I'm going to left click and then left click on the color and then you can for example change it so I think I'm going to leave it here and then here you can also change the transition between the colors here between the black and that gray or move this one so I'm going to leave it here and now I'm just going to close the layer effects here. So now I'm going to select the group layer. So I'm just going to scroll up, select the group here. I'm just going to close it, select the group. And now I'm going to duplicate this group layer. Control J to duplicate. So here it is. We have duplicated the layer. And now let's select the move tool, right click, transform, and then flip vertical. And now I'm going to move the group layer down like this I want to add the kind of reflection so if I select the fill layer so now I'm going to select navigator here I'm going to zoom in so now I'm just going to bring down the letter O and S so this is the reflection here I'm going to place it under like this I'm going to open the group and now I just need to find the two letters this is the letter O I'm going to select it and then I'm going to bring it down a little bit to make it at the same level as the others so I'm going to uncheck the snapping hold the shift key down while moving your layer to move it on a straight line so I'm going to leave the letter O here and now scroll down select the letter S here and now hold the shift key down and then move it down so I think I'm going to leave the letter S here so now let's bring the zoom here to 64 as it was double click here 64 press enter and now I'm going to scroll up in the layers tab here left click on the group to close it select the group layer I'm going to add the mask click on the mask layer here to add the mask to the group so on the mask layer the black represent transparency and the white opacity so now we want to go from opacity to transparency so now i'm going to use the, the fill tool left click here select the fill tool make sure you're on the mask left click here the context is fill left click on the type select linear and now i'm going to trace my gradient so here like this 
I'm going to left click on this point here. So I'm going to change it in the color here. Left click on the arrow. I'm going to change it to wheel. And now I'm going to change it to black. And for this one here, left click on it. And then make sure it is white. And now, for example, I can adjust, for example, here the gradient. On the mask here to make it look like it is a reflection. And now here you can adjust the transition between the black and white colors. So here it is. I think I'm going to lift here. And now I'm just going to select the move tool. 